great respect for classic recipes. A Caesar salad, well, isn't that one of the classic classics? And I've got lots of practice making Caesar salad. In the early years in the restaurant business, I actually worked as a server at a restaurant that used to do the table-side Caesar salad. That sort of tradition has gone by the wayside in restaurants, but that isn't to say you can't do it at home and have a lot of fun. And it means getting some of your ingredients ready ahead of time. I'm using my reserved bacon fat here to actually toast my croutons. And I'll just cut it into little cubes and add that to the bacon fat. A little salt and pepper. And for medium heat, I'll just give these a moment to crisp up and I might as well pull out those ingredients. So, let's start with the wooden bowl and I'll get ready, nice big clove of garlic. I'm just gonna smash it first and then rub the garlic in the bottom of the bowl. So as I'm mixing up the dressing, that garlic flavor gets picked up. But I'll add it back to the bowl in these big pieces Add a pinch of fine salt and take your utensils and start mashing it in the bottom of the bowl. Let me check on these croutons. I think we've got them nicely toasted. Now, back to the garlic. I add about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard and about the same of anchovy paste. It is one of the distinctive flavors in Caesar salad dressing, but it's that salty kick. In old fashioned Caesar salad, you would break in a raw egg. But what I like to do, and this is an amazing trick, is use a hard boiled egg. And what I do is just give it a little squeeze and I actually grate in the hard boiled yolk into the dressing, but it does lend that creamy texture. It's amazing. And then all I simply do to not waste the white is chop it up finely. And I make the chopped egg part of the final garnish. And I love a lemony Caesar dressing. And now for the oil and in a thin stream, stir it in. And a great little trick I have is just a little touch of water and it makes those big flavors stretch out and go a lot further. I have a lot of black pepper in my Caesar dressing. And before I start adding the lettuce, grate in Parmesan cheese. And there it is, the real deal. Now I have romaine lettuce leaves that have been washed. For the more classic version, you wanna cut the romaine lettuce across the grain. And you want to do this as close to serving as possible because if you cut your lettuce with a metal knife and put it in the fridge, it, after about six, seven hours, it'll actually get a little rust. You can use a plastic knife if you wish or you can tear your greens. All right, and now to toss. Put in the sprinkling of egg whites, the bacon, and those croutons. And I like to give everything just a little toss. Have your plates or bowls ready. With a vegetable peeler, put on some Parmesan curls. And you've got a great classic salad. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. The garlic's there. I love the lemon. And to stay on the classic side of things, an absolutely monstrous chocolate blackout cake.